what's up? My name is Andres. You know what the video is already going to be about. You saw the thumbnail. You saw the title and you clicked on it. So let's get into it. Um, I used to work here. I kind of still do. Um, I got fired. <laughs> I got fired like two days ago for, um, I can't even think of it off the top of my head, but I got fired. And uh, it's a union job, so I can come back as long as I get fired for different reasons. I was already fired once. I guess now fired twice. And uh, I'm waiting to come back. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even want to work here anymore. <laughs> and I'm sorry for the lighting. Actually, no, I'm not sorry at all. Because I, I just wanted to do a video on this type of lighting, bro. Got the gray hoodie on. Got the gray uh, ambient, the environment. Like, I'm using natural lighting from outside. So, let's start off with my hours, my schedule, and time. So, um, as it probably is with a lot of other jobs, um, there is seniority and shop right. Um, so if you say your availability is open, they're going to schedule you late. They're going to schedule anywhere between, uh, five, six, maybe even 7 PM, depending on, um, how many hours the workers are working this time cashiers because everybody works different hours every different department works different hours and even then even if you're in the same department you might not work the same hours you know but um they usually decide the hours in um hours of six seven or eight hours um man and it sucks bro especially like the eight hour days the seven hour days because look you get two breaks but they're 15 minute each and there's, I wouldn't have a problem with that if the breaks weren't separated like that. I wish it was just one 30 minute break because 15 minutes, you can't really get a lot done in 15 minutes. Like some people, like they make you clock out before you buy your food. If you choose to buy food, you know, buy a snack while you're on your break, buy a drink. Um, and that takes up some of your time, especially if it's busy. Like if there's a long, if there's like long lines, you know, you, you're going to have to wait and you're wasting part of your break and they're strict about that break man like uh, you'll get written up for it if you're caught stealing time which is what i got fired for if you like working late if you like working late that's great for you but i mean you can tell them that you're available only available during the day and they should comply but um man if, if you're a newbie you're gonna be working nights that's all i'm saying just a heads up in case any of you people decide to uh Work at ShopRite. Um, I mean, that might not be all ShopRites, but I'm assuming it is because that's probably the system, how they hire and um, how things work there. So next up, we're going to be talking about the environment. Um, and by, by that, I mean like the store, the vibes of it, um, how things work, how things are. <clears throat> um, I'd say the environment is um, pretty safe. Like, I mean, we have a lot of, like, we have quite a few security guards we always have security, so um, I, it's not like I ever feel unsafe or um, worried, nervous or anything. Um, security guards do usually do a pretty good um, job at what they do, and um, I'm, I have no problem with that. Um, the environment is it's pretty cool. It's pretty, for a shop, right? It's kind of like a small shop, right, because it's kind of old. Uh, pretty damn old it's probably like 30 years old i think i'm 19 it might be older it might be older than 30 years old i have no idea how long it's been there the plan was to make this video in the dark kind of liked it that way but then someone came upstairs and started making all this noise all this ruckus and it got dark outside it got dark to the point where like half of my face was covered with like you know Shadows from the blinds and the other half was just like that. But now we have to use the lights on. But you know what? That's okay. So as so as I was saying about the store, um, it's a pretty small store, so it's easy to find things. It's easy to look around. Um, but it is kind of outdated, old school. You can tell just by looking at signs. Um, the overall like layout of the store, um, shelves. Or even like the little, um, I guess signs for the cashiers, like the registers with the numbers on them, like ours are super old. Um, and everything about the store is just old. Like they made some new renovations and whatnot, uh, recently, like about two years ago, but, um, it doesn't help all that much. It's still an old store. Um, 
and I'm not trying to exaggerate like it's prehistoric, but it's not like a modern store like another shop, right? Or um, a Walmart or, you know, anything like that. All right, so next up we have benefits that this job doesn't really have many of because they're pretty fucking bad at providing them. Um, dude, I don't, I don't even know if I have 401k or whatever. I'm not sure, but we don't get employee discounts. The only time we got an employee discount was um, because of the pandemic, and they took that away. Um, how the heck do the seniors get discounts? Like, there's Senior Tuesday, right, where they get a 5% discount. Our discount used to be 10 but that was temporary. This senior discount is every Tuesday 5% for old people. And I'm not, ba I'm not bashing old people. Listen, ShopRite, you can do better, man. You can do so much better for your employees because... Like, we work there, man. Like, shouldn't we get, like, some type of discount? Like, it was just 10%. Like, are you that cheap? Are you that um, Are you that money hungry that you don't even want to give us 10% off? Most of us would do, like, our whole grocery shop in there, and 10% is barely anything of that. Like, you give away shit for free. They give away stuff for free at ShopRite. Like, just the other day, we're getting, the day that I got fired, they were giving out two liters Two liters of soda. They were giving out um, before that. They were giving out all these uh, Coke energy drinks. So I don't see, I don't see what the big deal is of giving us a discount. You know, that's not even the worst part. The worst part is that there was this um, a bill, a stimulus bill that the um, governor of Pennsylvania passed for um, hazardous pay for essential workers, which is like an extra like three dollars an hour. If um, anyone makes under twenty dollars an hour, and uh, my shop right stupidly decided to sign up last minute and then do the application wrong, so we didn't we aren't getting hazardous pay like other people. We had a hazardous pay two dollars and they took that away. What's wrong with that place? So back to that three dollar bonus, right? So um, the way they try to make up for it was giving us a three hundred dollar bonus added to our checks. Um, and it's going to be split. Well, if you're full-time, you work, uh, you're going to get $600 split. But listen, as a cashier, sometimes we work full-time hours or we're getting paid like uh, part-time workers. We're getting treated like part-time workers. So we're getting $300, which I said is split. So it'll be 150 per check. We get paid weekly. So um, I like that matters. But uh so the first day would be October 30th, and we're going to get an additional 150 bucks added to our checks. But the stimulus was activated probably about two months ago. I would have gotten way more than 150 bucks, man. Way more. Way more than 300 because the other 150 is supposed to come, like, what, December 30th, December 31st. Why are they split so far apart? Why can't we just even get them all together on one check? Like, why, what are they doing? Are they, like, trying not to invest in workers like are they just scared that we're gonna quit after that extra 300 bucks you know, i probably would quit i want to quit anyway jokes aside they need to step their game up because um benefits aren't very good so next up is the co-workers and i'm not gonna stick on this one for very long because i don't really have much to say but um some are cool some are assholes work with a lot of young people and that's more like towards the middle towards um like towards the afternoon and the evening um, because um, like younger people get hired more often into old heads or like the older people um, they've been there they have seniority so they get to work earlier um, and I come in pretty early like not the earliest but I come in pretty early that I get to leave um, earlier than a lot of the other younger people but I mean like I said some people are cool some people are buttholes um, I have tried I'm not gonna lie to test my luck in the dating realms of working at ShopRite, and uh, it's never worked out for me. Either they're pregnant, they have children already, they're taken, or they're older than expected, or they just don't like me. Next up, we have customers. Uh, I'm not going to give this one too much attention either, um, because... Um, I really don't want to deal with people anymore. I don't want to deal with customers. That's another reason why I want to leave the job. Some people are assholes. Some people are nice. Most of the time, they're nice. Um, but I, I'm just, 
I don't want to deal with people anymore, honestly. Um, people will be people, man. People have their bad days. People have their good days. Um, that's all I'm going to say. So now I'm just about around with this video. What I, what I recommend you work at ShopRite, sure, for a little while, especially if you want quick money because you do get paid weekly. But um, what I recommend it long term, no. Um, honestly, I just want to probably stick there up until November, December, or maybe even until February. But I doubt that's going to happen. I'm, to be honest with you, I don't think I'm even going to make it past November. Maybe even October, because now they're going to have their fucking eye on me like a hawk when I come back. Or if, if I even get to come back, because I did commit an offense the day I got fired. <laughs> but, like I said, if you want quick, easy cash, work there, especially as a cashier. But if you want to build something long term, I wouldn't recommend. I didn't go too in-depth in this video. There's a lot more things I could have talked about. But I didn't want to make this a rant hate video. And plus, this video is already probably like 15, 17 minutes long. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys liked the intro and the new outro. I'll see you in my next one, guys. Peace out.